Today Rob is working for Finky Logging and taking their Western Star four axle truck with a three axle low boy trailer and moving a Caterpillar D6C for coon logging. Janice Hardig informed me that her father, Ray Coon, started logging near Peck, Idaho in 1952. The logging operation moved up on the hill in 1966. Near Bano, an old logging camp, Coon Shop has been sold and the only shop still out there remaining active is Finky Logging, who Rob is working for. Rob worked for Finky Logging for about 24 years previously before he went to work in Alaska for CH2M Hill. Rob was driving low boy at that time for Finky's when we first got married and if I wanted to see him, he would leave before daylight and get home after dark and in the summer those are long hours so I would have to go on the truck with him if I wanted to see him in the daylight. So I talked him into going to Alaska where many other guys were going and we had our three weeks off together and it was great. The guys on the slope kept talking about the boom that was going on in North Dakota and so we drove over there and took a look and came back home and bought a Freightliner truck and went to a um, North Dakota home crude oil and we paid that truck off and we bought a, a Peterbilt and worked there for a couple of years. Our home base was Kinmare which is in Ward County, North Dakota. Matt Kuhn is supervising the movement of the cat today for his family. They have these neat old pieces of equipment sitting around. They also had several of those antique metal signs attached to their outbuildings, but unfortunately somebody else decided they needed them worse than the Kuhn family did. So disgusting. May the fleas of a thousand Campbells rest in their armpits. Rob retired and I had already retired from teaching and we decided that we would move to Halfway, Oregon, close to where I had grown up. Rob had friends in North Dakota that needed a driver, so Rob got a call and off he went to North Dakota to work for C-Bar A Earthworks for about seven months. After that we did shower support for Granny's Alliance on a fire at Kelso, Washington and then Rob went with Granny's Alliance to Florida to do recovery work for Hurricane Harvey. The reasons we left Oregon and returned to Idaho have been covered previous, in previous videos, so I'll list those in the description down below. And why at 70 years old we bought bare ground and started a modern homestead. We're headed back to Finky's shop, which is about six miles from Pierce, and it follows Quartz Creek before it flows into Orofino Creek, and it's a lovely fall day.